Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today's video, I'm going to show you how to reduce your input delay to the bare minimum and get closer to zero input delay here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. I have a brand new registry optimization pack and also another super useful tool I want to showcase to you. So therefore, guys, please make sure to watch the whole entire video. And if you guys enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would have made say so much. Ever any further news, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, real quick, what I want you to do pretty much in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website and you can already see guys that we have new categories here. So obviously the pack which we're gonna cover in today's video is an input delay pack, so you're gonna click on it and it should be appear here, you know, on the left top screen. But I also actually have like a new block feature here guys. I just wanna mention this real quick. I do like some reviews, you know, like the G Pro after one year or my new mousepad and stuff like that, but let's get back to the download. What you guys pretty much only gonna do is click on the post itself. It's gonna have the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now. And then you get redirected here you know just simply scroll down a little bit until you find download we're just gonna redirect you to google drive from where you can download a zip file guys yeah not like a chrome extension or some other stuff which is part of an ad guys please only go here onto download and download the actual zip file from google drive and once it's on your pc it should look like this you guys new zero delay pack season two and now let's begin with the tutorial and yeah guys the first tool which we're actually gonna take a look at is called fan control and what this tool does is truly amazing let me first of all explain real quick why it is so important we're gonna open it up guys it's gonna be as well in the file and we're gonna click onto fancontrol.exe and launch the program itself. You can see the program is free to use but you can of course also donate them a little bit if you wish so but I'm just gonna roughly like explain why this is so important. The main cause of FPS drops most of the time is throttle and throttle is created through heat and let's just say that you can literally have like the best CPU fan I don't know like a be quiet pure rock 4 or something like that but your CPU fan is only running at 40% and you might wonder, okay, where is my CPU running hot while playing games and streaming and stuff like that? That can be the main issue. For me as well, I just recently switched over to my Ryzen 7 5800X and my CPU fan was on stock on 40% which is of course not gonna really like do much you know like when you game especially let's just say you play a competitive game like Fortnite with like 240 plus FPS you're streaming at the same time your GPU also produces a lot of heat you can see guys I actually have in my PC a 3070 Ti which can also produce a lot of heat trust me there and let's just say that your CPU fan is locked onto 40% you are of course gonna experience throttle you know your CPU is gonna run way too hard and yeah you're just gonna lose FPS and less FPS mean more input delay of course so therefore what are we actually going to do here guys is real quick for you it should look like this here you're just gonna find your CPU fan click here onto this button you know so it turns like on and green and then you're gonna click here onto these three dots and make sure that you check manual control guys super important otherwise you can do it you know and it's just gonna say here like a curve um, which you can also set up but yeah we're gonna keep it on manual control and just simply drag it to something between like I would say like 70 to 90% my PC case itself is actually fully silenced, so therefore I can have it even on a hundred and I won't hear it. And I have in my PC case itself four system fans, but the first and second one, but the first and second one pretty much put like cold air into the case. So therefore I put exactly those here on a higher number than the other two ones, which uh, I don't know, not as much necessarily, you know, they just um, pretty much like put all the hot air outside of the case. So therefore, what are we actually going to do is go here onto our system fans, really depending like how many you have on your PC. Again, make sure that this is like checked. Then again, go here onto these three dots and put it on manual control. And I have mine on something like 75%. This works the best. I have be quiet silent wing fans, I think. So therefore they're also super quiet and as mentioned my whole entire PC case is silence. So therefore I can easily put it on something like 75, 100 would maybe already be noticeable, I'm not gonna lie there. So therefore uh, 100 is like really only if you have like a very soundproof PC case. Um, personally I would say 75 is way more than enough. Yeah, something like between 70 and 80 and for the other ones just simply keep them here on the basic speeds You know and then we're gonna scroll down and you can see you can even put your GPU fans here in like a certain percentage You know and I have here right now for some reason it does only show me two fans of my 3070 Ti But yeah, I have three so therefore I'm like kind of wondering okay <laughs> But yeah, I guess probably like two of them have like the same controller So therefore I just simply put them here on 50, you know same thing again. You're gonna click on it boom Go here onto these three dots, put it here to manual control, boom, and just simply drag it to what you think is the best. I would say 50% is more than enough. Um, you could of course also put it to something like 75, but then again, you're gonna hear it way more. And this is happening by the way in real time. So just as you are like changing it, 
you can see here it's working already so therefore yeah it's now on 75 and it's definitely a little bit more noticeable in my room already i don't know if the microphone does pick it up but something like 50 is the best i would say personally and yeah just simply make sure to keep both of them at the same rate guys that's how you apply to all of these best settings and as mentioned it doesn't matter how like bad or good your pc is how good your fans are you can literally do this with any pc and you don't need extra software controllers or whatsoever so therefore that's just simply a great tool and i hope that this was helpful and yeah guys in this next step now we have a brand new registry pack here which i'm gonna open up and you can straight up see we also have now here the possibility to pretty much like re-enable all these features just in case it should mess up something on your pc which shouldn't happen because yeah these are safe you can see here something like game optimization full screen fix you know low median optimization or medium to high there you kind of have to know like where your pc is in between i don't know low to medium is probably something like an i3 with like a 1060 something like that and medium is like from a 1650 i5 above you know and you can see it pretty much like depending on your pc guys you're gonna enable either of those here you know just simply like click onto it as mentioned if you have like a quad core dual core quad core something like a 1050 ti 1060 and what you want to do is as mentioned like um, depending on your pc stats gonna click on either of those here activate it then we have also game optimization which we're gonna enable here real quick um which is for some reason now here behind okay the keys and values have been changed as mentioned if there should be anything with your pc let's just say that you are gonna enable the low to medium one and it doesn't really work just simply enable it again you know we have it here guys everything there so therefore you're just simply gonna re-enable everything here the stock optimizations or you're, and you're already chilling you know and then we have also the full screen fix because for some people even though they put their fortnite pretty much on like running without full screen optimization it's still bugs you know there's like one of these issues which you can fix with that and of course also dvr guys and all this stuff which you could disable so therefore just simply go through all of them here guys i personally already did it here on my pc so therefore yeah and yeah afterwards if you're done with that we can pretty much close it and we're done here with this fps boost pack and yeah guys real quick if you ever wanted a tool which can actually help you to select the exact server in your near with the lowest amounts of ping guys for and as you can see for me it's right now the frankfurt 0.2 server with only 11 milliseconds of delay guys so therefore i know already that this one is the best so i'm gonna connect to it click here on to optimize for this game and then you can see guys that i'm now actually connected to the server with the lowest amounts of ping you know like the other ones london 03 london 02 Düsseldorf, all the other ones they're all like with way more delay so therefore no ping can actually provide me here with the lowest ping possible i'm gonna leave a link to them in the description guys if you want to maybe check them out and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me to say so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.